want to go over some common mistakes to avoid in a child support case when you are the person who's child support being filed against. Number one, don't do anything related to trying to change or shift custody abruptly. If you don't have a custody order in place, now is not the time to start doing that. Because number one, if you did file for custody, the court is going to obviously know the reason why you did anything with custody is going to be related to the child support issue. But apart from that, it just doesn't look good. Um, I think that if you have a custody arrangement going, keep it going. Don't try to change it. Don't try to keep the child. Don't try to do anything like that because I see oftentimes that that just makes more conflict and it's not a good look for the judge. Number two, if the child is not already on your health insurance, don't abruptly add them to your health insurance. Why do I say this? Number one, because it's going to be obvious to the court that the reason why you added them to your health insurance insurance is so you don't have to pay child support but number two also because you don't really get a big decrease in your child support premium just because you added the child it only really works is if you have like top of the line health insurance and there's only one child on the policy because after the first child any child that's added you don't really get a credit for child support purposes so you might be doing yourself a disservice by adding a child and being locked into that payment for the rest of the year and then lastly, I just want to note that you should not, when involved in a child support dispute, do anything to disparage the other party. It just doesn't look good. Child support disputes are about numbers and about income and about different expenses that relate to the child. If you're going to be involved in the child's life, you should do so genuinely and not trying to bash or do anything for the other party. I just wanted to go over that. If you're needing legal services in the state of Maryland or the District of Columbia, please give my office a call. 240-493-9116 and www.amurphylegal.com. Thank you.